All righty then. K1 Green Mountain Maniac. I had to pull down the other video because there was some false information in there and I don't want to perpetuate or spread false information. Uh, this is the double pole double throw switch I constructed for the 40 meter delta loop parasitic array. Uh, basically what this is, it is an abomination. I call it my Franken switch. Um, basically I've got two uh, nylon sleeves here. I used a quarter 20 threaded rod. It's cut at the center of each one of these. Um, this is the positive, this is the pin, this is the shield, and each one of these contacts here are the two antennas. Currently it's switched in, into the southwest position. Uh, so that's what it looks like. It's driven with a motor drive remote control from the shack. and works really, really well. Uh, I am settled. Uh, I had quite the fiasco uh, trying to get this antenna to work based on a model that was posted online. It, is, it does not work. The model is complete BS. It does not work. Uh, so what I've done now is I have, it's a direct feed. Uh, this is LMR 400. This is the hot. This is the shield goes to this strap. And uh, uh, about 100 and, yeah, 110 feet, maybe something like that, of LMR 400. And then it comes into a 75 ohm coax, uh, each side of the switch, into the stubs, the matching sections, which go over to, there's one feed point. There's the other feed point. They are spaced exactly 20 feet apart. The elements are cut for 7.175. And I have 52 feet across the top. Up there. The top which runs over there. And then approximately right about 43 feet each leg comes down. Um, so it is not a perfect triangle. The top is longer. I wanted to pull the feed points off the off the bottom, off the further off the ground. And as you can see, the feed points are not that far off the ground. They're only about six feet, maybe. So, um, anyways, uh, stub lengths. I settled down. Uh, I had a problem with it firing in the wrong direction. The stubs are too short. I am out to 38.6 feet on each stub, which runs out to the feed point, feed points. They are both exactly the same. And what this does is when the, one element goes active, as in the driver, it induces, it uh, has an inductive, puts an inductive load on the parasitic element, making it think, uh, seeing it as longer. Uh, turning it into a reflector, and it's very, very good. It works really well now. Uh, so I am done, finally. Um, I get about anywhere from two to four S units uh, of signal strength, uh, switching back and forth, uh, coming directly in the back of the antenna. Uh, it's approximately, I would say on average, three S units down on receive. Station's trying to come in the backside and uh, I'll be doing some testing and some other things uh, and demonstrating it. Uh, maybe if the bands get a little bit better, uh, I'll do a little demo video. But that's it for now. So uh, cut your elements to 7.175 or 7.150, but this is cut for 7.175 because I'm general class. And uh, uh, 38.6 on the 75 ohm coax. Uh, to the feed points, get yourself a DPDT switch, relay, whatever you want to use, feed it with 50 ohm, and voila, uh, you've got a nice considerable gain on a 40 meter array with a great front to back. And there you go. Case closed. Thanks for watching, K1GMM. Okay, we'll do a quick test with front to back on this thing. This is the 40 meter Delta Loop parasitic array. 
Currently it's switched into the northeast direction, approximately 53 degrees. This is the nuts, bolts, and screws net, so let me see if I can actually get on frequency here. And uh, what I'll do is I'll switch it back and forth from southwest to northeast, and you can check out the uh, front to back on this bad boy. It's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Um, currently uh, southwest uh, configuration or north northeast northeast configuration. This is southwest. Check that out, huh? Going southwest. Going north, uh, southwest. Northeast. Going southwest. Hello and no copy, Jeff. Over you, Kilo Delta Two Delta. Northeast.